If you like meatloaf, you're really going to like meatloaf on a smoker grill, and I'm going to show you how I do it. Okay, down in the description underneath this video, I've got a link to the recipe that I'm using. You may already have your own recipe, so I'm not going to spend too much time on the recipe itself. Just um, take a look in the description and make the, make the meatloaf that way if you want to do exactly what I'm doing. But then uh, I'm going to form it and I'm going to let it sit in the refrigerator for at least a few hours and then it's going to go out to the grill. Now my current plan right now is um, I've got it, I'm, I'm looking at about a three hours. So 250 to 300 for about three hours. Uh, I'm going to have some other things on the grill as well. But that's the plan that I'm working with and I will include any notes and observations a little bit later on. But uh, I'm going to build the meatloaf, it's going to set in the refrigerator for a while, then it's going to go out onto the grill um, for about three hours. I'll be paying attention to it there. So that's the plan and it should be fairly simple. The one thing I'm going to keep in mind um, is that when you put it onto the grill, I'm going to really spray it down good so that it comes up and doesn't stick. And so that's, that's been, um, when I've done meatloaf in the past, sometimes you have to watch out because things can stick. So just keep that in mind. So. Well, let's take let's let's do this let's do this meatloaf on the pellet grill. All right, so the meatloaf came out terrific last night. I followed the recipe very closely. Uh, the one thing I did do to make it a little spicier was I added a really big ha uh, habanero. It was great, nice little burn to it, nice little kick. And so, um, and then I formed it in a bread pan in a, in a um, you know, one of those metal bread pans. I put it in the refrigerator, it stayed there for a while. And then I put it onto, I put some tin foil down on a, on a cutting board. Any kind of hard surface like that will work. Tin foil on the cutting board and then I put the meatloaf um, on there and then I wanted to slide the meatloaf onto the grill. One of the things that you'll notice um, with things like that is that during the cooking time, the smoking time, it may start to come apart and the last thing you want to do is have your your great meat creation fall through the grill. And so, um, anyway, so I put it on foil first and then I was able to slide it onto the grill. Unfortunately, it, the, the meatloaf started sliding off of the tin foil, and so I had to kind of bring it back with a spatula and, and fix that. You saw that on the video. The end product, it doesn't look real pretty. It, just, it kind of started to fall apart a little bit, and I suppose I could have I formed, when I formed the meatloaf, I could have packed it down a little tighter but I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to make it too dense. I wanted to keep it, you know, um, fairly airy as much as possible. And so, but anyway, the recipe is great and it's down below. Um, feel free to alter it as you want to, but the way it is, is quite flavorful. Very, very good. Um, and I will definitely do that again. Hopefully you're finding these videos to be helpful. And if you are, I would be thrilled if you would subscribe to the channel and check below um, in the description for any links to either um, deals on, on pellet grills, uh, the recipes down there, any other bonuses or whatnot. And feel free to like, comment, and share. Ask your questions down below. Um, and anyway, hopefully you'll get, to, you'll get to try out more stuff with your own smoker grill. And we'll talk with you later.